There's a lot of misinformation swirling out there about sports nutrition. So we are here to set the record straight using top experts to help you eat, sleep, hydrate and train better. Because once these are locked in, supplements can help you achieve your goals. These are the five pillars to a better you. Hey, my name is Kashish Thakur. I'm a trained martial artist, a calisthenics expert, trail ultra marathon runner and a fitness enthusiast. Also, I'm a roadies winner for the year 2018. To some people, protein sounds like something only a bodybuilder uses. Spoiler alert, it's not. That's right, you, me, your neighbor, your yoga instructor, any way you slice it, we all need protein. And depending on how active you are and your fitness goals, your protein needs, they will vary. We'll talk more about different types of protein later, but for now, we'll focus on protein in general. I'll show you what I mean. We know bodybuilders use protein for muscle recovery, but so does everyone else. Take endurance athletes. For example, like bodybuilders, runners are using their muscles just in a different way. And protein helps their muscles recover after endurance activities. The same goes for swimmer, the golfer, the Pilates pro. You get it? Protein helps your body recover no matter the activity or sport. Worried about bulking up? Don't. For most of us, building muscle requires long-term dedication to a strength training program and proper diet. So understanding that protein is for everybody is just a start. To get a better grasp of what protein is and why it's so important, we need to dive deep. No, deeper. That's it. Now we can break down protein from the molecular level. Protein is made of organic compounds called amino acids. And there are two main groups, essential and non-essential amino acids. Non-essential amino acids are the kind your body can produce on its own. Don't let the name fool you. These are still very important. Essential amino acid can't be made by the body and you get these from the foods you eat. Foods that contain all nine essential amino acids are called complete proteins. Sources include animal-based protein like meat, poultry, fish, eggs and dairy and certain plant sources like soya, quinoa and chia seeds. Foods that are low in or lack one essential amino acid are called incomplete proteins. Sources include most single plant-based foods, think legumes, nuts, seeds and even whole grains. So essential, non-essential amino acids, what the purpose of all this? Protein provides essential building blocks of the body. Protein is also an important source of energy. I can go on, but the point is protein has many jobs in your body. You are probably thinking what all this has to do with your muscles. Well, remember those detailed diagrams in science class that broke down all the ways your muscles use protein? <laughs> Me neither. Let's ask an expert to help explain it in simpler terms. Hey James, everybody wants to know what makes protein such a big deal. Consuming protein alone does not automatically lead to greater muscle mass. However, protein can help to build muscle when used consistently over time in combination with strength exercise. Intense physical activity can break down muscle fibers. This is a normal response to vigorous exercise that is an important stimulus for muscle growth to occur. Adequate recovery time as well as a balanced diet are key factors that affect muscle recovery and rebuilding. Protein helps support muscle recovery by providing the building blocks for muscle rebuilding. Remember, muscle recovery is a 24 hour process and can take several days. It differs depending on person and activity. The amount of time needed for muscle to recover depends on your body, the type of physical activity, duration and intensity. Okay, so protein is a crucial source for muscle recovery following activity, got it. So talk to us a bit about how it's used as a fuel source. Protein is not the preferred energy source for the body, but it may be used for energy when energy from carbohydrates and fats are scarce. No doubt protein is an important part of healthy, balanced diet and exercise routine. But how much protein? What are the best foods? And what role do carbohydrates and fats play in all this? So many questions. We'll answer them and talk more about the five pillars to a better you in next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Optimum 5.